Okay, Assalamualaikum. Okay, guys. Um, let's proceed with the next lesson. Um, before we uh, proceed with the intensity, duration, frequency, curve development, uh, we might need to, you know, uh, familiar with some of the calculation of which, how the uh, input for this curve to be developed. Alright, okay. Since that you've given this kind of questions and this kind of data, Okay, so this is the question at the bottom of this page, right? So normally you'll be given um, rows of data, normally about 20 years to 30 years. That is a good enough for you to run a hydrological frequency analysis. Okay, so it says that it gives you the from 1985 up to 2004. Okay, so the question would be. Based on the observation and analysis made by Mr. M, he had determined that more than 23.4 mm of annual rainfall will result in a net economic loss for his corn crop. Okay, based on this table uh, given, what is the frequency of this event to reoccur? Or in other words, what is the return period of this event to reoccur at this particular rainfall depth? Alright, so uh, let's proceed with the solution. Okay, the step one. Okay, we have to rank the data from the largest to smallest. Okay, so if you have you get this kind of question in the exam paper, in the final exam paper, there's no way that uh, you could do this unless you have to do it manually. Otherwise, if you have this kind of um, data in terms of soft copy data like this one, you may also wish to fully utilize the Microsoft Office, the Excel one. Alright, so you don't need this. Okay. Use the auto sorting from the largest to smallest and expand the selection. Okay, voila. Okay, so you can notice that the year is no longer in the simple in the chronology. Okay, so get back to the equations. Okay, step two. Okay, before that we have to complete the table by putting the rank. Okay, so this is the rank, okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, right, so it says that the total number of year data is 20 years, okay, this is the rank, right, the second step would be get the probability of occurrence for FA or simply FA, right, so this is the formula, Okay, so you have to memorize this because it's not given in the uh, in the questions. So the FA would be the hundreds times two the rank minus by one and forty. Why forty? Okay. Because it says that you have to divide the the y by two. Okay, so we have y twenty here, and we divide by two. So uh, we we multiply by two. So it gives you forty. Okay. All right. So simply just copy for all. Okay, you have completed the FA. You know, the percentage of occurrence. Okay, now. What's next? Okay, so step three: complete the table by inserting each FA for each rank. Okay, we have already done that. We're going to have uh, this kind of um, table completed by this by this moment. Okay, step four: you have to calculate the return period. Okay, um, you have to remember you have to memorize the formula as well. Okay, but uh, sometimes. You, you don't really, if you have to do this manually, you don't really have to calculate for all the return period for every single year. Get back to the question. Okay. It just asks you for the, based on observation, blah, 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 more than 23.4 mm. Okay. In other words, 23.4 mm of rainfall depth will cause of the corn crop losses. So, we have to concentrate on this part. Okay. Okay, so we already calculate the FA and how do we get this? We get it from the formula. Okay, the return period formula is very simple. 
Okay, just put it here just to make sure that you don't forget it. Okay, so the return period would be the 100 minus by uh, divided by uh, the FA. So, so what does this mean? Alright, in other words, once in every eight years, we're going to have about 23.4 mm of rainfall depth. Okay, so so that's the that's the you know frequency of this event to reoccur at this. Okay, so we're done with that. Thank you.